Sage Criminology is a collection of 21 journals on criminology topics, and all the articles are full text. In Quick Search, you can enter keywords with AND between them. We'll search for women and prisons. The results show over 2200 hits. It is picking up the words women and prisons from anywhere in the summary or abstract. This number includes book reviews and magazines, but we need journal articles. Let's select journals. Now we're down to 1500, starting with the most recent first. This is too many results to work with. We need to narrow our search by adding another term. Near the top of the page, click on Edit Search. This brings back the original search box, so we can add another term or change an original one. Let's add the words AND Canada. Most of the, now we're down to less than 600. Select Journals. This shows us as less than 400. Most of these articles do not focus on Canada. The word Canada is mentioned occasionally, such as the job affiliation of the author. We will fix this with more advanced searching tools later. But first, let's scan the results. We have to scroll down to number 21 to find one that's on the topic. Click on the title to see all the details. This page shows us where the article is published in the Journal of Contemporary Criminal Justice, November 2007. There's a summary of the article called an abstract. There's also a table linked to the table of contents, and the full text of the article is up on the top. A very useful thing are the references. Many of these are online, so you can access them directly from this page. When you see PDF, you can open that article right from here the top of the screen, you can save or print it from this link, or go back to results. The link is called Return to Results. Now we're going to look at some other features of this database. We'll select Advanced Search. This is going to help us narrow our search so we don't have to scroll through so many screens looking for good titles. If we know exact terms like an author's name or the title of an article, we can specify what we're looking for. We can change the field name from keyword to a specific term, in this case author, in this case title. Then we type in our search. The best way to focus on what we want specifically is to know the right subject terms that this database uses to describe our topic. We can find this in the thesaurus. To get to the thesaurus, we go to search tools. In the first example, I was using the term women. Is that the right word to use? Type women in the box beside the browse thesaurus and click go. When the results come back, it shows us women was created 2002, but it says use instead, we use the term females. It uses the term females instead of women, and we can see that under the narrower terms is the term female inmates. This is very much the term that we're looking for in our search. So when we click on it, it shows us the details of how they use this term. It also shows us some related terms, female offenders. So, when we go back to advanced search, we now know that the term female inmates is acceptable as a subject heading or descriptor. Let's go back to advanced search and search this new term. We put female inmates, we pull down descriptors, and then we just type in the word Canada, and we'll search that anywhere. Now we have eight results that are much more relevant to the topic. Let's look at number four. This gives the same details as we saw before. It also shows us other descriptors. These are more terms that you can work with to refine your search. There are many more features in Sage Criminology, but using these ones will bring up useful articles for criminology projects. This concludes this tutorial.